so from the beginning to where you are now, could you share your story of your ups and downs through life experience? Okay, in a nutshell, I was born in the U.S. and uh, my mom is Greek and, and Hungarian and my father is Swiss and Dutch and um, so I've always been influenced by different cultures um, and then when I was one year old we moved uh, to Switzerland, which is where I grew up. But I spent a lot of time in Greece, which has influenced me a lot, so I feel very Greek as well. And uh, yes, but growing up in Switzerland was wonderful, um, you know, in the countryside. Um, I feel very fortunate to have grown up there. Um, however, as a teenager, I then had an accident, snowboarding in the Swiss Alps, which then really changed my life. Uh, and I'm smiling as I'm saying that because, as it turns out, many, many, many years later, I found out that it was blessing in disguise. So I had a really bad accident snowboarding um, and I couldn't live without pain anymore for many years. I almost got addicted to painkillers and volume and it was just a really hard time going to see one chiropractor after the other and hoping that the pain would go away until I finally um, get used to that pain. So you do get used to pain. And um, so, yes, yeah, so I got used to living with that pain. And I stopped going to see chiropractors. I stopped trying to get rid of that pain because I'd given up hope, which is really the worst thing that can happen, I think, to anyone, giving up hope. So, um, I then went on to study uh, business management in New York. I came back after four years. Uh, and back in Switzerland, I was working in the financial industry, uh, which was exciting. But also, I didn't feel like it was me at all. So I was wearing suits and traveling around, jetting from one meeting to the other. and. And yet, I never felt that I was really that happy doing that. So, um, really, uh, well, love has brought me to London then, years after. And, uh, and then I, I was living in West London, in, uh, in Level Grove. And by chance, I, I discovered this yoga studio just around the corner, which was Chivamukti Yoga. And, and straight away from the very first class, I felt like I was at home. I was connected. And I knew it was right for me. I had to take it really slow, though, with my back. And then I had yet another accident uh, on a banana boat in Turkey. Uh, which made things worse for my neck and my back and uh, however I was really lucky there again because my uh, well the person who would become my chiropractor and one of my best friends now was there in Turkey with us and she started treating me straight away so um, after we rushed off to the hospital and we had x-rays taken um, I had um, I had a broken wrist and I injured my neck again, but she started treating me straight away and she's treating me to this day. And it is thanks to her that I have found my mobility again in my neck and also thanks to yoga that I'm building up the strength again in my body and in my mind and that I've been able to find joy. And so it's been a, yeah, it's been a wonderful journey. Beautiful. What do you stand for in life? Uh, integrity. I find integrity really important. And I find that it's really important to appreciate what you have in life. Uh, I feel really lucky. Uh, even with everything that I've been through, I've been really, I feel that I'm really lucky. What's your biggest fear? Uh, missing out on happiness. 
not enjoying at all. Cool. I'm not being in the present moment. In a couple sentence, if all the children in the world were listening to you right now, what would you say to them? Life is a gift. Enjoy every single moment. And be yourself. Do what makes you happy, what you know, makes your heart jump, and then you can't be wrong. Beautiful. Thank you.